Greg Shoemaker, TriStateFootball.com here with Dave Brossert, the head coach of the Dixie Heights Colonels. They go to 3-1 and one tonight after a 36-8 win over New Cath in a rain-soaked game. And Dave, a lot of fumbles, but your team handled adversity really well tonight, didn't they? <laughs> well, that's, a, <laughs> um, that's exactly what I was, I was talking about. You know, I didn't think we handled the adversity very well in the first half. We, we put the ball on the turf way too often, and we were running the football really, really well. But it seemed like every other play in that second quarter, halfway through that first quarter, the ball was on the ground and we were getting second and 12s, third and 13s. Nobody was able to throw the ball tonight. And, you know, I, we made a lot of mistakes, but in the end, I think we did what we had to do to win. Our defense played fantastic. I mean, our defense, gave, it was a mental error in the first drive of the game. For some reason, this team likes to <laughs> likes to give the opponent a little edge, and we're down 7 nothing, but we came with 38 points straight. And, uh, you know, hats off to the defense, because basically it was a shutout after two minutes into the first quarter. Consistency's always been a problem here at Dixie Heights. Well, it has been over the past few years. What do you like about where you're seeing this team going moving forward? You know, I think we have great kids that don't give up. I think they've had a lot of adversity. They've been down 14 to nothing to Tough Cat, 13 to nothing to Beachwood, 7 to nothing a night. Um, you know, it, it rained all night. The ball was wet. The field was wet. And we just kind of just we just kind of hold on tight to the game. We don't make a whole lot of mistakes. And we grind out first downs. We move the football offensively. We make big plays defensively. And, and really, the defense did it tonight. We had great field position. Uh, Darian Washington still ran hard and didn't really perform as well as he did the last three weeks. But Joe Radenhausen came off the bench and really got us some positive yards. And uh, Seth Capel had two big catches. They were monumental and, and really uh, on, on some third down uh, conversions. And, and it was pivotal and, and uh, some long scoring drives. So, you know, nobody really played great tonight, but I think we, we pieced together a good enough uh, uh, effort to get the win tonight. When you look at some of the seniors on this team, talk about the leadership and, and how far it's come along with these cats. You know what? These seniors are incredible because they were like one and eight when they were freshmen. Nobody gave them any credit. Those guys hung in there. They hit the weight room. They went three and eight and three and eight, and they just hung in there, and there's about 15 or 16 of them that, I mean, you know, they just never gave up, and they worked their tails off, and, and now they're three and one. They got more wins this year than they had the whole season last year, and I think the sky's the limit for these guys. You know what? Winning is cool. That's what they were saying when they got off the deck on field today. You know, it feels good to win, and they're motivated to come in here and learn from the film, to correct their mistakes, to come in and face a good Boone County team, and, and I know Boone's struggling a little bit, but Boone's going to come over here in the first district game, and they're going to want to knock us off. And they got a reason to do so because they got a district championship to play for. So everything kind of starts over this week. And I think our senior leadership, we've got a great core of juniors. I'm really excited to see how we respond and play Boone County next week. There you go, Dave Rossert, the head coach of the Dixie Heights Colonels, who win tonight over Newcath 38 to 6. Thank you.